Rockstar DJ Mizzy Matt in studio with my dude August Alcina. What's good with you, boy? What's that? Chilling, chilling, Vegas. I heard, I heard it's, I heard it's your birthday. Yeah. 21st, 21st? 21st. And you're in Vegas? Yep. So, so. That's everybody's dream, man, to be in Vegas on their 21st. Right, right, right. Not right. a lot of niggas get to get here, but I'm here. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. what you about to do? Hit these streets or what? I'm working and then, you know, I'm gonna do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I read a lot about you or whatever, and I heard you actually officially, you know, you used to do YouTube videos and you had like millions of hits and you was, was how old were you? I started putting videos on YouTube when I was about 14. Okay, okay. About 14 or 15. And I, I you know, saw the response and then kind of just stuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and of course, my life situation didn't always allow me to continue doing it. Right. But every time I got a chance to kind of get back on the computer and do, do my shit, I did it. So. Yeah, about 14, and I just stuck with it and started responding. I'm like, shit, why not? You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So the first time, first time I personally heard you was on uh, Lloyd's mixtape, the. Um Play, the, Playboy Diaries. Yes, yeah. yes, the Swimming Pools remix. Yeah. And I was like, who is this dude? And yeah. as soon as I asked that question, it was like a rap from there. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, your name started popping up everywhere. Yeah. And I, was that was that one of your first? I heard you originally started working with Lloyd originally. Uh, <clears throat> Lloyd, the homie, man. And, you, and it's funny because a lot of people think that I had some type of, I guess, affiliation or, or was signed to him or whatever. Mm -hmm. But nah, that's just my nigga. And we, like, we just get down like musically creativity we vibe like we vibe okay, okay and um so we just was doing music i actually had him on my song before mm -hmm. anything you know okay, like okay. That, before the swimming pools remix he was on my shit and then from then on we just we saw like damn you know i fuck with you and then just kept doing music but yeah when we did the um swimming pools remix Bought it to him, I was like, dog, we gotta, we should do this over. And um, I did my verse, and he hopped on it and did his shit, and boom. Nice. So, what would you have if it wasn't for you? Basically, you, you know, uh, brought it to his attention. Yeah, I definitely had to bring it to his attention. Okay. Because you know what? I mean, a lot of times as artists, man, we be so caught up in our in our world, and, and you know, me as a new artist, I'm looking for any type of way to make niggas recognize. You right, know right. And, and I figured. I mean, Kendrick had the hottest song at, at that time. And Kendrick that's what I do right now. Yeah, believe that. So I was like, you know, why not? Why not touch it and give my take on it? You know what I mean? Okay, okay, for sure. And then now moving to the first single, the, the I Love This feature in Trinidad James. How'd that come about? You know what I'm saying? That's a hot record right now. The ladies love that joint right now. Um, me and Trinidad, <laughs> we go to the same tattoo shop okay. in Atlanta. And as an underground artist, they always playing, you know what I'm saying, our music. And it was like, you gotta connect with Trent, you gotta connect with Trent. And eventually we finally exchanged numbers through my tattoo artist and was texting back and forth. And at the uh, ASAP Rocky concert backstage in, in Atlanta, uh, I saw him like, man, what's poppin'? And like I said, we never met, so nigga was like, who the fuck is you? Like, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I was like, man, I'm all, and he was like, oh, for sure, nigga, you could kill me. Just because, like, if we was beefing, I wouldn't know who the fuck you was. Right, right. <laughs> so, um, but I had a session with Currency, like, the next few days, and Trinidad came through to the studio, and he knocked his verse out, but it's crazy. I had that song for about six months before I even got it to Trinidad. I just knew that that was one of the songs I wanted people to hear first, just because of all the ratchetness and shit that it embodied. You know right, 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 right. And, I, and I, I went, got Trinidad because I heard All Go, and that shit so ratchet, just ratchetly beautiful. <laughs> I was like, for sure, I gotta throw him on it. But I'm working on the remix right now to that shit too. Okay, who you got on the remix? Not sure yet? No, I'm sure, you, you, I'm sure. You gonna, you gonna hold on to it? I just, it was, <laughs> shout out to my nigga Trey. Okay, okay. Shout out to Trey someone, man. So uh, you, signed, you signed a Def Jam, correct? Yes. Sign the Def Jam, okay. And then I, I've been seeing, you know, I watch a lot of MTV jams. You know, you and um, Gunplay got that got that spotlight right now. It's been like for the last month. You know, how that come about? That's big, like, you know what I'm saying? And then that's going into the single, the downtown single, correct? Yep. It's, yeah. It's me, uh, me, Gunplay, uh, Schoolboy, Chance the Rapper, Travis Scott. Mm-hmm. 
That's five, I need five. I believe so, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm the only singing cat in, in, in that number, so it's cool because you know Fab Five with MTV is so hip hop built, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. There's so many hip hop artists uh, and rap artists, so it's cool to be, you know, amongst so many others. And of course, everybody that uh, MTV named as Fat Five in previous years, it was Future, it was Chief Keef, it was Big Shiny. It was a lot of people that went on to be successful, you know what I'm saying? So it's cool to be amongst so many, you know, people who are doing their thing and, 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 and successful at what they do. So, um, actually, man, how it happened, I really can't even tell you because it was really honestly and truly um, a blessing from God on right, some G right. shit. Like, I, I don't even, it just happened. Mm -hmm. I never even expected it. Uh, so, it just happened, man, and I'm, shit, I'm thankful because it's, you know, it's exposure and it, it's making people aware of the movement. But uh, the people over at MTV, they rock with me and I rock with them, so, you know. Right, definitely. So you got any uh, new projects on the work that you need to be working with? Uh, you working on? I mean, I got I got my my mixtape, the product two out right now with DJ Drama. Okay. I got uh, on on that piff and live mixtape. I got my new EP. I just dropped. It's called Downtown Life Under the Gun. It's in Best Buy and it's on iTunes right now. Yeah. Um, it's about maybe seven or eight songs. It's short, simple, sweet, to the point. You know what I'm saying? Not too much. Um, but it's called Downtown Life. I'm from downtown, from New Orleans. Right. And uh, really, it's a real emotional journey because I, I wanted to let people into my life. Like, not a lot of people let people in. Right, exactly. Like, so many times as artists, man, we put ourselves out there to be judged. Mm -hmm. And people so judgmental. Um, you just don't know how much to give, you know what I'm saying? Because so many people got so much to say, but at the same time when I was doing it, I was like, man, if I don't keep it 100, I'm gonna be cheating myself, I'm gonna be cheating with people, and I'm gonna be cheating guys. So, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it 100 and do do what I do, but it's, it's real, it's a journey. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I appreciate you coming by, bro. You know, anytime you welcome to Vegas, happy birthday once again, My brother. Dog. You know what I'm saying? All good luck and best wishes to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I love your music, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever you come to Vegas, rockstar DJs, you already know what it is, man.